Let's begin by addressing the elephant in the room. Is Chelo Show, India's entry for the Academy Award for Best International Feature Film, a copy of the beloved Italian film Cinema Paradiso, which actually won that award in 1990? The answer is no. Writer-director Pan Nalin is very obviously inspired by Cinema Paradiso. There are several similarities between the two films, but Nalin takes the material and refashions it into a moving, elegiac, semi-autobiographical story about a nine-year-old boy's obsession with film. Chelo's show, the English title is Last Film Show, is also an ode to the enduring magic of cinema. It's also a heartfelt lament for the death of the single-screen experience and for celluloid itself. Cinema Paradiso was set in a small Sicilian town. Chelo show is set in a village in Gujarat named Chalala. Like Toto in that film, Sameh is utterly seduced by the moving image. The first time he sees a film, he turns to look at the light emitting from the projection booth rather than the furious, gaudy action on screen. <laughs> His father, who hates the movies, has made an exception to see Jai Mahakali because it's a dharmic film. Like Toto, Sameh strikes up a friendship with the projectionist Fuzzle, who tells him that movies were invented to con people, but Fuzzle also fuels Sameh's obsession. In exchange for entry into the projection room, Fuzzle devours Sameh's food. Sameh's mother is a superb cook. The artfully arranged spices and these close-ups of her preparing these mouth-watering meals will take you straight back to Ritesh Batra's The Lunchbox. In Cinema Paradiso, Toto's mother was the anguished parent who sometimes beat Toto because she was a young widow dealing with difficult circumstances and Toto's obsession with film became one more source of grief. Here, it's Sameh's father, an embittered man who runs a tea shop at the railway station. He walks around with a stick always ready to strike. And in both films, there is a farewell sequence at the station when these boys leave their claustrophobic circumstances and step out into the world. Moments in Chelo's show also echo Terence Malik, Stanley Kubrick, Satyajit Ray. The close-ups of faces enraptured by moving images and a heartbreaking sequence of celluloid being stripped and turned into bangles might remind you of The Cinema Travellers, the award-winning documentary directed by Amit Madhishya and Shirley Abraham. All of which is essentially Nalin, a huge movie lover, doffing his hat to the masters. The film begins with the line, gratitude for illuminating the path, followed by a list of names which includes the Lumiere brothers, Edward Mybridge, David Lean, Stanley Kubrick and Andrei Tarkovsky. The film ends with a voiceover naming a litany of great directors including Quentin Tarantino. This can seem a little pretentious, but what roots the film is the authenticity of Nalin's narrative. The film has been shot on location in Gujarat and the child actors are non-professionals. Sameh is played by Bhavan Rabari, who effortlessly combines sweetness with an impressive streak of rebelliousness. There's this sparkle in his eye that instantly tells you that he was born for bigger and better things. Sameh is a natural born storyteller, he's also the king of Jugaad. He and his friends, who are also played by non-pros, have the creativity and the chutzpah to turn junk into magic. The world is their playground and unlike the adults around them, these kids are fearless, they're curious. Even matchboxes thrown on the railway line become a source of entertainment. These boys take centre stage, but the adult actors are also solid. Bhave Srimali as Fazal. Dipen Rawal as Sameh's father and Richa Meena as his mother deliver unshowy, lived-in performances. As does child actor Rahul Kohli, who tragically passed away from leukemia last week. Chelo show doesn't have that oversized, beating heart of cinema paradiso. Each time I watch that film, <laughs> I am reduced to this weeping mess. Instead, Chelo show accrues power slowly, sometimes a little too slowly, as the story progresses. There are stretches which are dramatically inert, but what kept me hooked was D.O.P. Swapnil as Sonavane's stunning cinematography. Swapnil bathes scenes in this gorgeous amber light. 
His camera delights in human faces. He captures Samay and his friends so distinctively that their faces become memorable even though a few of them don't even say a single line. One of my favorite shots in the film was Samay imagining that he's leapt into this vast pool of film reels. It's just magical. Trains are also a running thread in Chelo show. Thundering through the little village, the meter gauge train harks back to the 1896 Lumia Brothers short arrival of a train and of course to Pathir Panchali. The train takes Samay to the nearest town where he watches films. Chelo show is set in 2010. The fast changing world is encroaching and disrupting the rhythms of life in Chalala. Despite his name, Samay cannot escape the march of time. Inevitably, film reels give way to digital technology and men like Fuzzle become irrelevant to the ecosystem. But Nalin is not a storyteller given to despair. At one point in Chelo's show, Fuzzle says, from light come stories and from stories come movies. Like Samay, Nalin is a seeker of light. And despite the ache, Chelo's show is a celebration. Tell me what you thought of Chelo's show in the comments below and do remember to like, share and subscribe.